Georgina, wow, that's, uh, honestly, you didn't have to go to so much trouble. <laughs> oh, of course I did. I mean, it's, it's not really that kind of wedding. Just because we live out here in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean one shouldn't do things properly. Tradition, Rosie. One must never underestimate tradition. <laughs> hey, Dad. What's that? Oh, Tula's not so good. I'm changing her formula. She's very low on protein. This is common with orphan elephant tribe. I mean, she will get better. I'm sure this will work. Oi! I've got a bone to pick with you. There's a pair of underpants hanging in the middle of the bathroom. Don't tell me the lucky pants are getting an outing. What? No. No, his sister's coming back tomorrow. I've got to look my best. Anders, never, ever put your hands on the cake. That's you. Just keep your filthy paws off it. It'd be great having Caroline back. Not a day goes by that I don't wish she was here. And squinting and glaring at Georgina isn't quite doing the trick. Mm. Well, quick before she bites. Mm. So what time does Caroline get in? I I'm not really sure. Aren't you going along to pick her up? <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it. Dinner is served. Let's hope this one does the trick. Would you like to give me a hand? No, thank you. You know what I feel about dirt and animal saliva. Are you okay? Oh, it just came out of nowhere. I just had time to get out of the... What happens? My life flashed before my eyes. It was a bit depressing. What happened? The elephant. It was a damn elephant. Yeah. Wow. Ladies of South Africa, look out. You think it's too much? I want to impress Caroline. Job done. I'm having a hard time keeping my hands off you and myself. Ah, ah, ah. Vanessa wants us to see something over at Mara. Hopefully it won't take too long with everything going on today. Well, I'll do it. You get on with what you have to do. Sure? Yeah. Under duplicy to the rescue. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You might want to change the suit first. Right. 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 Thanks for doing this. Oh, not at all. We don't want you accidentally exposing yourself at the <laughs> altar now, do we? No. <laughs> of course, in my day, dresses came up to here. Yeah, sexy. <laughs> Rosie! Max, keep out. I'm trying on the dress. It's OK. I've got a plan. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> what was so important that couldn't wait five minutes? Max, ah! careful. I'm fine. I'm fine. <gasps> Max! I made it myself, an early wedding present. Oh, he's beautiful. I'm not as beautiful as you. Not that I can see you. I'm totally blind, I promise. You can still feel that, right? Hmm. I really hope that was you. Yeah, go. I can't believe we're finally getting married. A very good morning to you. Oh, you're cheerful. <laughs> My fiance is coming back tomorrow. Oh. Ouch. What happened here? An elephant tried to kill me. <laughs> oh, you serious? In the last two days, I've had a brand new bird hide completely trashed. A member of staff charged, and now Fatani attacked. My whole life, Duplessis, right before my eyes. Probably just must. What? When bull elephants come into season, they produce too much testosterone. You know, they get a bit aggressive. 
I'm sure you've been pursued by a few frenzied males in your time. <laughs> so, what do we do? I'll give it a couple of weeks till you'll calm down. But in the meanwhile, make sure your rangers travel around in pairs. Now, any more problems? I'll be right back with Trevanian. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I guess I'll see you at the wedding. Yeah. Rosie's lucky, you know. I'm single, you know, Anders. I have no love in my life. Is he coming on to me? I'm really sorry about this. No, it's fine, honestly. No, it's not. She doesn't mean that. Yes, I do. <coughs> Kids, eh? <laughs> It's much smaller and it's really far away. Darling, Danny has already explained that the Luxury Lodge is booked. I'm just saying. It's only for the week. Oh, we haven't got a spare put-up bed, I'm afraid. We'll manage. Thank you, Danny. Careful, Dad. I don't want you staggering up the aisle tomorrow. Listen, when you've got drunk with Duplessis, nothing can touch you. <laughs> right. Now, I want to propose a toast. That's probably cat. Right, come on, you. Mm -hmm. You're eating for two, remember? Yeah, for two, not Quintuplets. I'm going to get him a dress, Dad. There you go. Dad. Dad, enough. God, I don't want to waddle down the aisle. You have to keep your strength up. Uh, knocked up on my wedding day. You must be so proud. I am, you know. Dad. <laughs> hey, Duke. What's wrong? There was Caroline on the phone. She's not coming back. Why? Is her flight cancelled or...? No, no, no. no. Just... She says this place reminds her too much of Sarah and... She doesn't think she can come back here. Ever. Ever? Hey. What is it? The dress. I should have worn a different dress. Hmm? No, 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 no. You, you look, you look wonderful. There's no need to sound so surprised. Come on. <laughs> Why are you staring at my mum? We are gathered here to celebrate the wedding of Rosemary Elizabeth Trevanion to Maximilian James Blichnote. Are you all right? Of course, boy, of course. Now, marriage is a journey we make with the person we love the most. To meet that person, that person who completes us, is truly a miracle for which we must thank God. Rings, please. And so I ask, do you, Rosie, take this man, Max, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health till death parts you? I do. And do you, Max, take this woman, Rosie, to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and I in... I do. <laughs> You're a bit keen, aren't you? <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Easy, you're not on the swimming pool. Bye, oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, don't you look good all dressed up? Hmm? 
As do you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. I've been busy. Maybe we could hang out tomorrow. I'll see. Anders, mm. you're wallowing. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, and it's yeah, most no, unseemly. Come on, it's time to cut the cake. Oh, you've had quite enough to drink. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, for Pete's sake, you're ruining the whole wedding. I'm not the yeah. meadow bag doing all the screaming. Oh. You're an uncouth, okay. drunken slob with no regard for anyone it's but all yourself. Right, you two, let's take a step back, shall we? Cake. You know, Rosie didn't even want a cake. It's all about you. The great Georgina, jealous of her sister, because she found somebody to love her while she's all alone. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I I'm drunk and I was no, angry. No, please. No need to apologise. I'm rather glad you said that. Because I was beginning to wonder if... I've had made the right choice in encouraging Caroline to stay at home. What? She's not staying home because of Sarah. She just said that to spare your feelings. She's staying home because... because you're not good enough for her! Danny, has Duplessis been located yet? No, Georgina, he hasn't been located yet. He's still somewhere out in the bush, drunk, shattered, but hopefully alive. Well, it's not my fault. The man's a danger to himself. Save but it. Oh, breath of civilization. Good morning, Norm, sir. Me. All night. Yeah, that's really creepy. <laughs> and massively untrue. I woke up a few minutes ago and I found this. <laughs> Payment for a becoming wife, most kind. Just open it. <clears throat> Tickets? Two weeks on the beach. <gasps> the downside is we have to spend the weekend with my parents first. They gutted they couldn't make it to the wedding. He builds cribs, he buys romantic honeymoon. I should get a cake. Hmm. Coming! <laughs> Breakfast in bed for the newlyweds. You can spare us the sucking up. Rosie. I was just trying to do something nice. You knew Caroline wasn't coming back and you lied to all of us. You should be apologising to Duplessis. Apologise to him? Never. I, I can't believe after what that man did that you're all attacking me. He's the one who ruined your wedding. I was just standing up for my sister. You encourage the woman he loves to dump him. All because you don't happen to like him. It's pathetic, Georgina. After I made you that lovely cake. Where exactly are we going? You'll find out in a moment. But you see, Vanessa, there's, there's a connection between us. I think you and I... Oh, no. Don't say that. Just hear me out first. Ah, oh, the telephone pole. That wretched elephant. It has to be stopped. Well, never mind. Perhaps we could take a seat over there. Oh, what idiots put lit candles in the middle of the bush. I have no idea. Very irresponsible. That's what I wanted to tell you. Obviously, uh, 
Very bad. Stop! Damn it all, where were you? They're shouting, they're no shouting. We were worried about you. Well, don't. Where are you going? Next to the bar. Come on, Duke, you're probably still drunk from last night. It's not drunk enough. You know that getting hammered isn't gonna help any more than it did last night. In two hours time, I'll have passed out and won't give a damn. Works for me. Wait. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Fixing your mess. Oi! Get out of there! Go! What'd you do that for? You shouldn't feed them. Not near your heart. Why? Because they'll never leave you alone. That sounds like fun. Trust me, you don't want that. Anyway, I'm festive with fleas. Hmm. Morning. Congratulations. Again. Thank you. It's all downhill from here. Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. <laughs> I was hoping your dad was around. He's gone to drag Doop out of Max's bar. Oh, damn. What's wrong? My bloody elephant's taken out one of the telephone poles. Well, baby Alice, could... she's really busy. I mean, the wretched thing is out of control. It's getting closer to the house, and I'm getting scared about Grace. I'll go if you want. No, you, no, Max? No, 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 you just got married. I'm sure it can No, be it's no trouble. Are you sure Max won't mind? You think he's going to begin married life disagreeing with me? And I'll tell you the other thing about women. They might smell nice and, and talk nice, <laughs> but inside, they're crazy. Crazy like a teething jackal. Duck, I know you're upset, but destroying your liver isn't gonna help. You say sure? Look, don't do this to yourself. Caroline not coming back isn't anything to do with you. It's to do with Sarah. She told you that. Why won't you believe her? I'm not good enough for that woman. Never was, if I was honest. Georgina's right. No, she's not. Hey, fill it up. Anything? Yeah, the trail ends here. Meaning? Oh, well, it's close. See? Yeah, too close. Need to move! Performing my new husbandly duty. Yeah. Oh, oh. Are you right? Yeah, fine. I just uh, ache all over. <laughs> Tough being the barnic woman, eh? Oh, I should go check on Tula. You should take it easy. Max, she's lost her family. We're all she's got. Oh, and then you lie down? Promise. Because <sighs> if you're not well, you know, the honeymoon can wait. I am fine. Honest. If you could just hold her still. Busy, huh? Well, once I confirm that Millie here is in fact pregnant, I have two surgeries, ten appointments, and a daughter that's probably bored out of her brain right now. <laughs> the usual, really. You haven't known Anders Duplessis all that long, have you? A bore of a man. Well, that's where they are, you know, these Afrikaners. Descended from the Boers. <laughs> clues in the name. <laughs> and now I'm being treated like a leper. Just 
because I defended my sister from that unwashed rogue. Excuse me, I have to prep for a search today. You know, you've got the right idea. Excuse me? Keeping a separate hut, eating breakfast, lunch and dinner alone with your daughter. Very sensible. Don't try and become one of the family. You know, if you really want my opinion, you should give Duplessis a break. He's not the drunken old idiot you make him out to be, you know. I could use a hand. Oh. oh! What did I tell you? <laughs> All right, there we go. I was right about you, Anders Duplessis. Don't lay off him, Georgina. Wow. I feel drunk just looking at him. Yeah. Sorry about this. I know lifting 15 stone of inebriate oh. duplessis wasn't in the job description. <laughs> it's fine. All right, one, two, two three. Oh. So, uh, how's the new accommodation, by the way? It's perfectly comfortable, thanks. I only asked because Charlotte didn't seem too happy. <laughs> She'll be fine, honestly. All right. Let me see. Oh! Oh! oh. So, oh. All right, Duke. All right. Danny? Rosie? 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 I am fine. Honestly, stop fussing. I've called the doctor. The air ambulance is in use, so it's going to be a few hours. Thanks. I'm just tired, that's all, and I, I ache all over. You're getting checked out, that's the end of it. I don't need a doctor, Max, tell him. I'm with you, Dad, yeah. You're supposed to be on my side. We'll let you get your rest. Come on, Cedric. Seize the day. Vanessa, this elephant needs to be dealt with, and I think I'm just the man to handle it for you. Do you have any veterinary training? Well, not per se, but you know, I am often in the bush. Fatani, that animal is dangerous. If you're worried about me, I can promise you this. I'll be back to take you out to dinner. Are you asking me out? Would that be so bad? <laughs> I'm flattered. I am. But it's Trevanian, isn't it? Huh? What do you mean? Look, the man is still in love with his wife, Vanessa. Falling in love with him is going to break your heart. If I want your advice, I will ask for it. You're a bit young to be drinking so much coffee, aren't you? It's not for me, it's for dupe. Oh, really? That man has you all running around after him, doesn't he? Well, he's upset. I'm trying to be supportive, unlike you. Talk to me like that, Evan. You know, Anders Duplessis isn't related to you. I am. We should stick together. You know what, Georgina? No one wants you here. You only ever think about yourself, and Dupe is more my family than you'll ever be. Something's wrong. What is it? My stomach. Oh, God. I thought it would go away, but it hurt so much. We'll get you some painkillers. the baby. Not it? necessarily. Oh, oh, God. Get the ultrasound. I need to... Oh, I need to know what's happening. I'm not oh, a doctor. Man, get the ultrasound, please. I need to know what's happening to our baby. I'll get it. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Max. Max. You can't get that ultrasound. She asked me. She, she begged me. I can't do it. I, I'm not even a doctor. You know how it works, though. Not my own daughter. Maybe I could do it. No. <laughs> Alice, you're not qualified either. Max, whatever this is, you need to hear the truth from someone who knows what they're talking about. 
Please. You think we've lost the baby, don't you? Okay. Now this is going to feel a little cold. And Rosie, please remember, I'm not a medical doctor. Okay, I can't guarantee Just that this is Just do it, going... please. Of course. Sometimes it just takes a while to warm up. You know, these... This isn't a precise test. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that... <laughs> I'm sorry. should have gone and looked for that elephant like I promised, instead of hanging around feeling sorry for myself. Oh, we've both been too self-involved. I've managed to upset the family so much they don't want anything to do with me. Oh, dear. I'm sorry it's come to this. We both said things we shouldn't have said. Maybe I'll just go to London and talk to Caroline face to face. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why? Anders, I might have gone about it in the wrong way, but I meant what I said. You and my sister, you're just... You're just not a good match. What kind of apology is that? I didn't apologise to you. I merely said I was sorry about the situation. Caroline doesn't want to see you. Why can't you accept that? Oh, I'm going to see how Rosie's doing. Don't make it any worse. How is she? I'm afraid I can't see any sign of a fetal heartbeat either. How's Rosie's health? We need to get her to hospital. Why? It's just a precaution. We need to make sure that the miscarriage is complete and to ensure your wife is healthy. It's only overnight. Are we off? Hey, you should be in bed. I'm fine, I'm fine. The doc said I needed to get to the hospital, so I'm ready to go. Oh, well, we could have packed that for you, love. I'm not an invalid, guys. I just... It happened, you know? Let's get on with it and then we can start looking forward to the honeymoon. Right, well, let's go. No, I want you to stay here, Dad, and look after Tula. No, I can leave her to Alice. No, please, Dad, it, it's important. Of course, love. Of course. <laughs> to death last night. Look, I'm like a human pincushion. So what are you? You're covered in bites. Fleas. I think we've got fleas. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'll change the sheets, get some powder. We'll be fine.
There you are, Danny. When are you off to the hospital to collect Rosie? As soon as I'm done here. I thought I might come with you to show my support. I don't think that's a very good idea. If I can't be of help to the family at times like this, what use am I? She's getting worse, so I'm going to have to do something. You're tranquilizing her? Well, it's so I can set up an IV. Danny, what's she going to do when she's on a drip? It'll keep her alive. It's like keeping someone on a ventilator. She'll have no mobility, no quality of life. Well, it could buy us time. Yeah, if we're lucky. Look, Danny. This kind of aggressive treatment. Rosie asked me to look after her, and I'm not going to let her die. OK. OK, let me help you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, that is the first flight out of here. Perfect. I'll take it. How is she? Well, the doctors have given her the all clear. Uh, confirmed the miscarriage. I'm worried about her. Why? She keeps saying she's fine, acting like nothing's happened. Oh, have you tried talking about it? Yeah, she just changes the subject. I don't want to bottling it all up. And... Hey, Dad. Great start to married life, eh? How are you doing? Fine. <laughs> Please, can everyone lose their long faces? I really am fine. Yeah, just, I'll take that. Let's go. I'll take that. Thanks. Charlotte, what are you doing? Those things are full of fleas. No wonder I'm getting bitten to death. But you knew that, didn't you? Alice, we're going off the elephant before it hurts anyone else. Have you ever heard of knocking? I've heard of it. Not a fan. Come on, woman, get moving. Stay there. There's a rogue male. No, it's a female. Why would a female be so destructive? I've been asking myself that same question for many years. Oh, time for a little lie down. Oh, wait, wait, stop. Look, the only way we're going to get a closer look at her is if she's full of tranquilizer. I think I know why she's been acting up. Look, she's lactating. So where's her baby? Precisely. Let's follow her. A set of wire cutters. Nothing. Hello, Leopard's Den. Anybody there? Come in. We need help. Is there anybody there? Come in. No answer. That leg, it's been trapped for days. Uh. What's all this about needing help? Huh. No way, not from that woman. Uh. Georgina, is Danny there? No, he's gone to the hospital to collect Rosie. Evan, anyone? Just me. Dupe and I found a baby elephant in trouble. We need a set of wire cutters. Georgina? 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 
told you there's no point in that woman. It's stubborn and big-headed. Shut up, Anders. That's no way to talk about a woman who's trying to help you. Are you coming? Apparently, yes. Give me directions before I change my mind. Oh, well, you're almost there. Look at some big trees on your left. Well, all the trees are big. Yeah, but the ones on your left should be bigger. Maybe they're, maybe they're behind you. Turn around and hit it's the Slow water. down, you're confusing me. No, that's not hard. Look, just hit the Hello? Hello? Georgina? 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 You all right? Come in. Oh. What Tula needs to get better is a mother. Too risky. Well, we have a lactating female right here. If she adopts Tula, Tula can have a chance at survival. Yeah, okay, okay, enough already. Save it for Trevanian. We need to focus on this one here first. Hey! Who ordered the wire cutters? <laughs> what happened to you? Stop laughing and start being grateful. We are. Thank you. <laughs> right quickly before the mother turns on us. Yeah, we've got to do this in a hurry. <laughs> okay, quick. Oh. We need to do that now. We're running out of time here. That's nearly no. gone. Now, got it, got it. There. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Oh, aren't they adorable? Careful, anyone might think you're enjoying yourself. She's looking better. Yeah, the medication's starting to work. She can't stay on it forever, though. No. You know, if you want to talk about what happened... Yeah, the doctor said it was qu quite common. I'm, I'm fine. Well, you keep saying that. But I don't want you to keep it bottled up. I don't want you to feel well, like... Well, the rogue elephant is no longer rogue. What? Oh, it turned out to be a mother just worried about a baby. A baby that uh, Duplessis, Georgina and I got out of an old poacher snare. That's amazing news. Did you say Georgina? Are you joking? No. Wow. Well, that's great news, Alice. Thank you. I, actually, it kind of gave me an idea about Tula. Well, we have a mother elephant out in the bush. And we have an orphaned elephant right here at Leopard's Den. I suggest that we introduce Tilla. Try and get her adopted. No. No way. <laughs> it might be her only chance at normal life. If the elephant accepts her, then she can start feeding properly again. Yeah, and if she's rejected, the mother elephant might kill her. Tell her, Dad. It's worth a try. Dad, you can't... Alice is right. And we could keep Tula alive here, but what kind of quality of life is she going to have, you know? Constant injections, half-drugged. I can't watch her die, Dad. We need to try this, love. For her sake. What now? Keep your fingers crossed. Dup. Stay where you are, he knows what he's doing. Hello, girl. That elephant has flipped cars over, it could kill him. You know, 
vu ça Is he talking to me Keeping her calm. Elephants are like us, incredibly emotional. Hey, careful. It almost sounded like a compliment. I used to think you were a lad, crude Africana with an aversion to soap. <laughs> and now? I still think that. But I uh, understand what my sister sees in you, I think. Your hands off. I'm taken. No. Oh. So you want to move in because of a squirrel? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. Oh, no, squirrel, I believe you. We'd love to have you. Yeah, you can leave your fleas at the door. <laughs> It'll just be for a few weeks. Naturally. Hi, right, you three. <laughs> I just heard our elephant problem's gone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm just really sorry that Rosie got caught up in all of this. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I feel like it is. Well, don't. Nobody here blames you. Anyway, uh, we just wanted to say thanks. Yeah, yeah, indeed. We brought this round. Well, we were just about to have lunch, if you care to join us. Oh, we're I'd very busy. Um, <clears throat> yes, we'd love to. Good. <laughs> Very manly. <laughs> Your husband incinerating meat. Could there be a more inspiring sight? Ah, uh, the sight of my husband on a beach. You still want to go? Well, it's my honeymoon, Max. I'm not missing it. Well, I thought it was our honeymoon. Max, you have got a lot to learn about being married. Mm. Hey. Hey. Sorry about Rosie. Thanks. If you want, maybe we could hang out tomorrow. Yeah, please. You want a drink? Great. You know, Evan, Princess Grace doesn't get drinks for just anybody. Yeah? Yeah, what's your secret? I think she just feels sorry for me. Interesting. The sympathy vote. Yes, young Evan. Yes, this could work. Thank you. You sure we can't persuade you to stay on? I've been here quite long enough, thank you very much. If I stayed any longer, I might go feral, and that wouldn't be a pretty sight. <laughs> well, I know Evan's enjoyed having you around. I'm sure that's not true, but I appreciate the sentiment. Trust me, the boy will miss you. And you? Me? Well, I presume you're going to fly over to England and visit my sister. I know she'd love to see you. That's the best idea I ever heard. Duplessis in the city, I'd pay to see that. Hey, hang on, Trevenian. I'll have you know I am a very cosmopolitan guy. Hey, Dad, look. Ah! What are they doing here? Huh? I think Tula missed us. Oh, what a sight. So uh, you, you, you have beer in England? Right. And a rather more stringent view on personal hygiene. You'll have to start showering. Showering? I shower? Once a week. I'm trying to conserve water for the environment. Oh, 
That's the first time I've heard idleness dressed up as ecological responsibility. Yeah, well, I don't know what that means, but it sounded pretty mean. Pack it in, you two. There's babies present. <laughs> oh, I've never actually captured a wild dog before. <laughs> I ran the National Wild Dogs Trust. Terry Green. We already know each other. I want us to be together, you and me and Charlotte, like a real family. Well, the wild dogs got out. We need to find her. Whoa! <laughs> Danny! And if you missed last week's episode of Wild at Heart, you can watch it again with ITV Player at itv.com slash ITV Player. Next, the votes have been counted, so let's have a skate off. Dancing on Ice is coming right up. Okay, okay, okay.